Oh man, we have some big, big, big Switch news intro. Oh, we have our cow! Reggie Fisa, man! <laughs> OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing we have some big 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 nintendo switch news items for this video before we get started give the video a gigantic thumbs up if you're not subscribed click subscribe let's get right to the news this is pretty major it looks like the new switch model may in fact be launching with Breath of Wild, Breath of the Wild 2, Spring 2023. This is breaking news, a new update coming via Digital Foundry. Digital Foundry has made some recent comments on the new Breath of the Wild 2 um, gameplay footage and the new Nintendo Switch model. Now, to give some of you guys a background on Digital Foundry, they were the ones that broke the Nintendo Switch um, console information. The detachable Joy-Cons is gonna be a home console handheld hybrid. All of that was um, leaked early by Digital Foundry. Check out what they're now saying about the new Nintendo Switch model and Breath of the Wild 2. After the most recent gameplay was shown, which, which is what you see on the screen right here, <laughs> this is what John Lindemann from um, Digital Foundry said. This trailer was interesting, and I quote, This trailer was interesting because the image quality seemed quite good. I think I was a little bit surprised by how sharp and clear this looked compared to the original in general. This is what Linman said. And one of his co-workers, Alex ba Badaglia, I think I butchered his last name. This is what he said. He agreed and he said that this footage could be from, and I quote, the next switch. Now, it all makes sense. One of the things dudes have to remember, the original Breath of the Wild, fantastic game. One of the best games this generation. Groundbreaking as far as open world and open world experience is concerned. You could go straight to the boss if you want to. You might get wrecked, but you could do that in the game. You could literally go everywhere. However, the game did have performance issues. I know when you went into, I think it was the Lost Woods, when you went to get the Master Sword, the frame rate dropped drastically. Pretty much every anywhere in the game where there was a lot of foliage, or, uh, foliage it was um, frame rate hiccups. Um, and they're saying that the footage that they're showing now, as you see on the screen, it's a lot clearer, crisp, pointing to, it's running on newer hardware. This makes sense, seeing that the original Breath of the Wild did launch in the spring, and to have a new Switch model launch uh, to coincide with Breath of the Wild 2, it just makes perfect sense. Time will tell, spring 2023 is going to be an interesting season for the Switch. All right, next news item this next news item is another big one bandai namco has it's been discovered that bandai namco is hiring for a new first party game on the switch and this was discovered um through recent reset era and the post um, quotes and it says it will be a remaster remake of a 3d action
action game having many fans pointing to Kid Icarus Uprising as a possible remake coming to the Nintendo Switch. If there is one game that would greatly benefit with this from the Switch hardware, it would be Kid Icarus Uprising. Fantastic game. Ha Let me backtrack. Half of the game was fantastic. The flying stages, wonderful. The, the ground platforming stages were a mess, particularly with because of the 3DS controller limitations. There was no true right stick with the 3DS. It was wonky. Um, and so I think if this game were to be remastered on the Switch, bump up the frame rate, the resolution, this game was a fantastic game and a perfect, perfect fit for the Switch. And so keep your eye on the lookout. Bandai Namco is, they are um, hiring to remake and remaster a game coming to the Switch and fans are pointing to um, Kid Icarus Uprising. Next news item. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. An all new trailer has hit the internet and this one is a dev um, a behind the scenes video showing some of the thought processes behind the game what is impacted and influencing influencing the game but a new trailer for Shredder's Revenge is on the internet and this is one of my most anticipated games this year, bro. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, this is what I grew up on, my favorite cartoon series as a kid and uh, video games on the NES and the arcade. I have a one-up arcade cabinet, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that I'm looking at right now. And so this is going to be a day one buy. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait to get my hands on this game. Now, this next news item is pretty interesting. Nintendo has changed their subscription service terms following a recent inv investigation. Pretty much they don't want to get sued. So now the default option for your Nintendo Switch Online subscription will not be defaulted to auto renew. Uh, so if you purchase your uh, annual subscription for Nintendo Switch Online, the default option previously was to auto renew. So say you didn't want to auto renew automatically, but you didn't realize when you signed up, that's what the default is. So next year in July, they're going to automatically charge you another 50 bucks to auto renew. That is no longer the default option because both Nintendo and Sony has come under fire uh, for having that as a default option and they don't want to get sued so now you don't have to worry about being automatically charged with your Nintendo Switch online services and the last news item for this video the UK sales charts for March have been released and Nintendo's had a decent decent month um, it, as far as hardware is concerned the Switch was actually the second best console behind uh, the Xbox. Uh, Xbox well, took the top spot in, in March for the UK. And Nintendo's console did drop a bit month over month. However, the Switch in the United Kingdom is still the best-selling console for the entire year so far. So the Switch is still killing it. Um, I have to be honest, part of me is I do want the Switch sales to slow down a bit just so Nintendo could have a little bit more urgency to release a Switch uh, 2, Switch Pro, Switch Plus, whatever they call it. <laughs> because I know Nintendo, as long as their current system is selling like hotcakes, they're not going to have really any incentive to come out with a more powerful console. But we all know one is in the works, time will tell. All right, so. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo.
Dough. We're out. Peace.